Divas and Divos, it's your girl April, so you guys already know what time it is. It is a two-year celebration for MyFirstWeeks.com. So, a couple of weeks ago, not excuse me, a couple of weeks ago, but last week, last Monday, I did post a pixie cut that was by My First Wigs. If you guys, if you guys are not familiar with them, then they are a sister site to RPGShow.com. So, My First Wigs is basically a website that caters to more of those who are first-time wig wearers. They make it a little bit more simple. They don't give you too many crazy styles or too much to do. They give you all the amenities that you may or may not need to hook up your wig okay and they also do give you directions on how to apply it but you can always look on youtube so like i said it's a sister site of rpgshow.com and this is their two-year anniversary so this time around last week i went with a pixie cut i don't even know why i'm screaming into the microphone i always do that like y'all can't hear me but anyway so last week i did this pixie cut by them it was more or less like a bowl cut we'll need to customize it i mean it all depends on your head shape for me it was like uh kind of like a no it wasn't a no hit but it was in between so I had to kind of like customize it so this time you know I don't really do the bobs like you guys already know I don't like nobody's bob but this one was like really screaming for me like girl try me try me so okay so it was this bob but it had bangs and I was like okay so we're gonna try this I mean because it kind of like brought back memories like not really that big of a memory but somewhat of a memory because like back in the day when I used to wear my own hair out like it would always have a bang and my hair was straight it wasn't a bob it was a doobie it just brought back some type of memory so the first wig that they sent me it was kind of thin on thin on the bangs like I'm sorry but I'm I'm gonna be needed in some bangs like I like a nice full bang so they did do the wig over for me and they gave me more bang because I don't know about y'all but a girl don't like the little spare thin bangs. Like, if you're going to give me a bang, just give me a bang for my buck. Like, I'm going to need all of that and then some. Let me get some of hers to add to this. But I really would have preferred it to be, like, a light yakky texture. Though I didn't tell them that. Like, I can't tell them to, like, reconstruct the whole entire wig. Like, yeah, I need a little bit more bang. So they sent me out one that has more hair in the bang. But now I'm, like, requesting a lot. Like, I think you should try some light yakky hair. That's just my opinion. We all entitled to our opinions. So in my opinion opinion I feel like a light yakky texture would have been really great for this bang with the bob or bob with the bang because you know that hair is a little bit more thicker and dense and it would have like really like flow with silkier texture hair you need a whole lot more hair so I'm just saying you know it's just my opinion and everybody's entitled to that this is a lace front, so you're not parting it all over the place. So if you think you're about to part back here, then girl, please forget about it. So it does have two combs in the front over by those temples and the comb and adjustable strap and then they don't mind the fact that I forgot to cut this little piece of lace off. It doesn't even matter. You didn't see it. I'm not really big on undoing unboxings or anything like that because to me it's just a box. That's the key word, unboxing. Like, I really would just like for you to get to the point, like I don't really care about you opening up a box. I could do that on my own. But anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna just do it for the purpose of this video. The box is real sturdy, so if you guys got something in mind like doing some crafts or dioramas or something like that, then this box will get you through. All right. So first of all, it comes with the stocking cap and one of these, but it also comes with these um, cute little nifty bags, so you can store your wig back in it. And it says my first wigs, quality wigs for beginners, just like I said. But like, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be a beginner, so don't feel like you're obligated to not go to the website. And then in Inside of it is one of these cute little bags. I just tossed one out today because I had like three of them. But anyway, a pamphlet inside which gives you instructions. And they do come with these cute little, like those foldable wig stands. It tells you how to make your wig look natural, how to make your hair lay. And it got a little old muffin is my lovers up in there. Showing you how to do your wig and make it look just like on point. But if you guys are not into reading all of those great instructions and you're more or less hands on, eyes on, eyes, then check YouTube out. There's loads of videos for that. Um, also in the bag is these great great my first wig clips these are great for styling your hair some of the infamous bobby pins which i do like the structure of these so. this great elastic which i did use on one of the wigs that i made today these combs which i already got one open and this is also from my first wig love these combs with the metal rat tails at the end oh my god these are perfect for styling. And if you want to carry some other things in here like makeup, feminine products, then by all means, go ahead. 
you're not gonna put your wig back up in there. Trust and believe. Now, because I know I have talked you guys' ears off, let's do this wig. So underneath on my head is this thing called the wig grip, okay? So more or less, it's supposed to keep your wig from sliding all over the place. It's kind of like a hassle to me. I'm not saying I'm a huge fan of it, but whatever. this wig I thought that changing my shirt would make me feel a little bit more open to this wig a little bit more acceptable to the wig because you know when you wear certain things your hair just doesn't go with certain things like I noticed this video that I did the other day it was for synthetic wig but the wig was kind of like glamorous very long and delicious you know very full and long and luxurious and I had on a Prince t-shirt kind of did not go with the hair at all which kind of brought me like the wig was nice and the t-shirt was nice but totally different video looks okay and that's how I felt about this hair I figured well let me try to put on a different top because some tops make me look one type of way and I may need to look a certain type of style for this particular wig so I will I'm just gonna give my honest review about the wig it doesn't have to be about me and then I'll give it about me because it is somewhat about me the texture of the hair is very nice though I would have felt it would have been really great in like a light yakky texture the full bang of it is very good I'm glad they did it over because this is a hundred times better than the first one that they sent me like serious by far the flyaways that I'm getting is kind of like irritating to me but you know what I'm saying what what it does it just use some hairspray or some mousse and you're, you're good I wash it first that would help a lot because it's kind of like staticky um, the length of it, it all depends on the person, but I do feel like it could use a little bit more hair. That's why I'm saying that if you was to probably use like a light yakki, the wig would have been amazing. Um, the cut does need a little bit of help um, because I did notice like some areas right here were a little choppy where it didn't need to be. And that's just a mistake because I've done it to my own wigs that I've created on my own daggone hair. Now, as for the construction of it, meaning the way it fits or whatever, yada, 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 really great. I didn't have to do much. I like a good wig that'll cover everything. You don't have to do, you don't have to do your eyebrows, okay? Now, for the style, it's not for me. Maybe if it was a little bit longer and then I would have curled it, opposed to wearing it straight, I would have probably been a lot more comfortable. I probably would have been a lot more comfortable if it was a little bit longer somewhat, okay? But I would need a little bit more density, though. So that's just my take on it, because I feel like I have a longer, elongated head, so therefore, certain hairstyles just don't do for me. Girl, if I'm going to do short, I'm going to make it short, short, okay? I'm just saying. But overall, the overall experience, it's a little itchy to me because, you know, it's hot and it's just like right here on my forehead. I really don't do a lot of bangs because I don't like them on my forehead. But I'm so glad that they fixed these bangs because, girl, honey, child, let me tell you, first when they sent me, I was like, these little bit sparse. I kept doing everything in my great minds to try to make them look thicker. Nothing was helping. And I had to let them know, like, no, this is not going to fly. So anyway, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video for my first wigs. Congratulations on them for rolling two years in a row. As well as RPG show, I really commend you. You do some really great work. And it's been an honor to be able to be featured with them or just working with them for, like, nine years now. So on that note, all the information and any coupon codes that I may have for you guys is down below. Just keep in mind, one thing is good for you is not good for me. And I don't really think this style suits me at all. So, you know, you know, that's just my opinion. But you guys are entitled to yours as well. I love you. Stay diva and delicious, And make sure you thumbs this video up because you love me. Bye.